Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part 4 of the solution on 2021. Today, we will discuss question number 6 and 7. You can see this question that is question number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We already discussed in last 3 part, and today we want to discuss question number 6 and 7. Question number 6 says, say, What is meant by complex dialectic constant? Actually, when if you placed a dialectic material within an alternating voltage source, then the dipoles are oriented uh, alternatively or periodically with the applied field. When the applied field along that direction, dipoles oriented along that direction. After some time, its uh, direction of electric field will change. This is also change. That's why this dialectic uh, constant, which also depends on the time. So, this is called complex number because within the complex number there is magnitude and a phase and this phase are related to change their direction. So, this is actually the complex dialectic constant. It is physically that the capacity of the material to withstand external field that have strongly depends on the frequency. When this frequency is changed, uh, that is the electric field orientation change, how this dialectic material behaves with the changing with this electric field is known as the dialectic constant, complex dialectic constant. Next question, clearly explaining the basic assumption drive clausius mostly relation for a dialectic. Actually, the assumption is the only an induced dipole relevant to the probability and that is applicable for the substitute in significant permanent dipole. That is, you know in the polarizability or polarization, there are three main factors that is the electronic polarizability, then ionic polarizability and the uh, dipolar polarizability. Here the permanent dipole are eliminated, if we neglect the permanent dipole or if we omit the permanent dipole, the dipolar moment due to electronic and the ionization is contribute in the clausius mostly relation. By clausius mostly relation, you actually neglect this permanent dipole which are uh, calculated in the classical theory. So, the local field is depending upon these four points that is E0, E depolarization, uh, E L, E D. So, we will discuss this in theoretical class. You can conclude from there. And the microscopy, microscopy is for total polarization is polarizability into E local. And the displacement vector is summarized and after finally you obtain this relation. Okay. So, this we actually discuss in theoretical class of playlist of polarized physics. You can go through this, you easily find out this relation. So, finally, you obtain this relation, and if you take this case, you will be get this summation and at optical frequency, polarization of dipole and contour inertia of this one. So, this becomes n square, and this is known as Lorentz Lorentz formula. That is the dipolar moment uh, on the, when the dielectric constant converting into refractive index. Okay. Uh, here the additional question explain how it's modified when the one dielectric uh, more, the more than one dielectric is present. I cannot find out the solution of this question. Next question says determine the percentage of the ionic polarizability of NaCl crystal having the refractive index. So previously we just obtained these two relation that is for uh, electronic and ionic and this is for electronic only. So, if you comparing and if you uh, dividing, you will be get this expression and put this value, you will be obtained 51.4 percent. Next is, what is Meissner effect? Very interesting effect because if you was the material and the electric uh, magnetic lines of code passes through it, but uh, if you, if you change its temperature below the critical temperature, the lines of force are repelled. That means it behaves like a uh, diamagnetic material. This effect actually known as the Meissner effect. This is when the temperature is above critical temperature, the lines of magnetic field passes through this material. But when this temperature is below to this, to this critical temperature, this magnetic lines of force repelled by this material this material behaves like a diamagnetic material. This effect is known as Meissner effect. Next question was the perfect diamagnetism and zero resistivity of superconductor are mutually exclusive properties. Perfect diamagnetism uh, 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 resistivity is zero. From here you will be get the is zero. 
and from Maxwell equation we will be obtain this formula and finally we will get the uh, magnetic field also constant. So there is no contradict between these two effects from this relation also. And the third question was discuss the difference between type 1 and type 2 con uh, superconductor. Type 1 means soft and type 2 is hard that is uh, with the field of this magnetic field uh, this uh, no, superconducting state change into the normal state. Actually here you can see this magnetic field also change the uh, superconducting state to magnetic state. So below this magnetic field is the superconductor but above this magnetic field is the normal state here also. But the transition between these two types is different. This is sharp transition because, uh, and there is a uh, gap between this region. So if this is gap, this is type 2, this is hard and this is uh, sharp, this is soft. Okay. This is the basic difference. For example, and uh, current flow through the surface only here, the current flow through the material. And so complete masonry effect not completed. Here the masonry effect effect yeah. um, that's mean when we apply this magnetic field and they passes through again also. Next is uh, estimate the load on penetration for the chain whose density is given atomic weight and critical temperature etc. So this is the formula and put this value in is nothing but 1.9 Me 1.9 mass of electron mu not 4 pi 10 to the minus 7 Ns is the density which is Ns. 7300 by beta and uh, square is the electron charge. So, you will be obtained this expression. Next question briefly explain the BCS theory. BCS means Bardon Copper C for uh, superconducting state. This is actually based on electron phonon electron interaction and Cooper pair. Actually, when there is temperature is 0 Kelvin, the no that. Um, uh, no lattice vibration that is the um, lattice play, uh, points are fixed here and electron can easily find out uh, pa passes through this path because there is no vibration so no resistivity but uh, at higher temperature electron can trapped and the ions are attracted by here so the distortion of lattice and phonon emission this vibration get emission which is known as phonon so here the two interaction can happen electron electron phonon repulsion when the another electron come here the repulsion happening and electron phonon that is the vibration of this lattice plane attraction this attraction is greater than repulsion so these two electron like a pair so um, since these are, are, are like uh, two electron are trapped here like that so this is Cooper pair so electron phonon interaction happening here. Uh, because because this is region is positive because all the positive are attracted here so this is positive region this electron also attracted here. so these two electron like a pair so that is called Cooper pair and this electron electron Cooper pair gives you the uh, the phonon actually when two electron within a superconductor interact to each other through the phonon a attractively uh, overcoming the Coulomb's repulse force. So they are overcoming the Coulomb's repulse force over the attraction. They make Cooper pair. Binding energy is like that. Total spin of Cooper pair is zero. BH like a boson. Follow the Bose-Einstein strategy. And if T greater than T, Cooper pair broken. So this all happen below the critical temperature. That is superconducting state. Above the critical temperature, this breaks. So this actually the BCS theory. So I think clear about all these things. If there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. This is all about me. This is my contact detail. This is my YouTube channel. So take care. We'll meet you the next video. Thank you.